A leaking water pipe inside our house recently caused damage that entailed major renovations. As the various work crews came in and out over the next three months to repair that damage, the paint contractor caught my attention. Several things about their work processes struck me as they relate to my own line of work, public speaking and coaching executives in business presentations. The more time spent in their preparation, the less time they spent in the actual cleanup. The painters took almost as long to get ready to paint as they did to do the actual painting. Of the five days on that project, they spent two full days, long days, in prepping. Taping around the woodwork and the doors, taping around the cabinets, removing the electrical outlets, removing the doors, removing the hardware from the draperies, filling in all the holes where the hangings, the paintings had been hanging. But once they started the actual painting, the walls changed colors quickly. Cleanup was also fast. They pulled up their protective paint in minutes. Presto! <laughs> no splatters to scrape spot by spot. With presentations, the same is true. The more effort that goes into fine-tuning the message, structuring the key points to support that message, and selecting memorable ways to illustrate those key points, the less time it takes to clear up the confusion with your audience in the Q&A session, and the fewer times you have to retell and re-explain the message in meetings that follow. Another corollary, the color changes depending on your viewpoint. The supervisor painted four big test swatches of different colors on our wall as we started the renovation project so that we could make a final decision about the color. But he cautioned, before you decide, be sure to check those colors from different spots in your rooms and in different light lighting conditions. Early morning, midday, late afternoon, at night, the color will change depending on the lighting. Now, although I knew that theoretically, the dramatic difference before my eyes amazed me. The light sage green at midday looked much brighter in the early morning. It turned beige in the shadows of afternoon and it appeared gray at evening. As with presentations, each audience member brings their own experiences, their own attitudes, and what they need to hear to your presentation. Your job as a presenter is to anticipate the various viewpoints from which others will see your message, and then tweak your presentation to make it relevant and engaging from each perspective. Another corollary, the right tools make all the difference. Painters have what they need to do a professional job. Ladders, tape, drills, sanders, drop cloths, buckets, pans, rollers, and brushes of all sizes and shapes. Presenters need the right tools as well. Nothing marks an amateur like someone who can't get their slideshow to display, someone who uses animation like a teen with his first remote controlled car, or like someone who adds, uh, adds sound effects like a toddler who has discovered the first rattler and they don't know how to turn on a mic. Another corollary, liability should be a concern. While everyone hopes for the best, professionals also consider the worst. What happens if things don't go as planned? In our renovation project, the business owner took one look at our six tall picture windows in the living room and said, I'll need scaffolding in there. Those windows are too tall. The ladders aren't safe for our people. Though accidents happen infrequently, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't consider and plan for them. Likewise, with business presentations, always have a backup plan. How will you present your information without AV support? If the key decision maker arrives late or leaves early, what will you do? If your time is cut short, what do you leave out? If you get asked that one question that sheds a negative light on your data, how will you handle it? Consider the bad things that could happen and envision your poised reaction. After all, painters change only the physical. Persuasive presenters can change the future.